Hi there Rangers, Kato Genesis here with a no-nonsense guide for Wasteland 3. Wasteland 3 has no shortage of collectibles, and one of those said collections is the 15 creepy dolls you can find throughout the Colorado Wastes. Each of these alliterative abominations give a permanent passive effect, which will be stated for each as we go, and these are going to be listed by progression of the story rather than alphabetically, so you shouldn't have to jump around too much. Let's go get those creepy dolls. First up is Radical Rachel, and this one is found in Ranger HQ, and can be obtained shortly after the tutorial at the dam, as well as the exposition drop by the Patriarch. Radical Rachel can be found before or after the base is refurbished, and is in the room just south of the War Room, which eventually gets turned into a museum. Radical Rachel is found in a container on the northwestern corner. The boost Rachel provides is an explosive damage bonus across the board by 5%. Second creepy doll to locate is Keen Karen, found in the Garden of the Gods. You are sent here by Sheriff Daisy, possibly along with Lucia Wesson, to take care of the remaining Dorseys lingering outside of Colorado Springs. About halfway up the Garden of the Gods, before you encounter the second group of Dorseys, there's a passage you can take off to the left, which leads to a group of wolves and a way of flanking said Dorseys. Your first steps on this path, if your party has any perception to speak of, or I don't even know if it's actually required for this one, a digging point will be revealed field, which contains Keen Karen and 10 Shrink Grenades. And if you didn't have a decent perception bonus already, Keen Karen permanently adds one additional perception to each of your party members. The third creepy doll to collect is Maneater Mari, and this one is found in the bazaar. Well, the bazaar exterior, so I guess outside the bazaar. When you come here, you don't have to gain entry immediately because Mori is outside in the parking garage area. Beware of the robots around, but once you've taken care of them, Mori can be found in a duffel bag where most of the paths here in the parking garage area converge, and northeast of where the parking garage icon is on the map. Pick up Maneater Mori, and his bonus to the entire party will be 15 constitution. Number four, Lethal Lance. After you gain entry into the bazaar and begin doing some quests for the monster army, particularly quests involving adult entertainment, you will be led to a location south called the Monster Army Bunker. The same room that is the theater that you were sent to to get the film reels for said adult film quest, Lethal Lance can also be found in the southeastern corner of the room. Inside, yet another duffel bag. Lethal Lance grants a penetration bonus of plus one to your party. Next up, Thing Fred. Sometime after you've done deeds at the bazaar and head back towards the Colorado Springs area, you'll be contacted by Dead Red and shown the location of the old survivalist's bunker in Broadmoor Heights. This is still in Colorado Springs. So once you have access to the old survivalist bunker, all the way towards the back northeastern side is the makeshift hospital. There is a locked room in here, and once you've gained access via lockpicking or simply breaking the door down, the trunk straight ahead will contain <laughs> Thing Fred. Fred provides bonus damage by 5% versus humans. Next up is Cruel Cory. So around the time you've dealt with the refugees in Colorado Springs, you may also get some engineers at Ranger Base, at which point you can outfit your vehicle with radiation shielding and start heading east. That would be to the Denver Ruins. After you get introduced to the factions here, primarily the Gippers, you can head into the Western White House, which is just off to the left of the entrance, and take yet another left once you get inside, go through the locked door into the ruined section of the Western White House, and Cruel Cory will be within the container here. Cruel Cory, like Think Fred, provides a 5% damage bonus to your party, except for animals. Before leaving the Denver Ruins, we also have Electric Emmett to find. Traveling east of the Denver Ruins will lead you to the Machine Commune, and all the experiences one can have in such a place. On the eastern side of the Denver Airport, when you take the door to the outside just before the catwalks, off to the left will be an area covered in storage containers. Electric Emmett will be buried right in front of the barrels. If you're unable to detect this buried loot, you may need to come back with a higher perception, but this is where Electric Emmett is, and Emmett's bonus is an energy damage boost by 5% for your party. Nervous Nancy's next, and we now go north to the Department of Energy. This is off to the east of the path that you take towards Aspen, and be prepared when you arrive here because there will be many traps and robots to contend with. After getting a little ways into the Department of Energy, look for the break room, and among some rubble southeast of that, Nervous Nancy will be buried. Nancy raises your party's detection time, that's the time at which it takes to be detected, by half a second. 
The Healing Hardy Henry is the doll who is found in Aspen before entering Little Hell. The entirety of Aspen is an uphill struggle with fight after fight, and finding Hardy Henry is about four fights in. But I'll start from the entrance. Once you've entered Aspen, your first task is to lower the bridge, which you can do from the Welcome Lodge. After lowering said bridge, you can continue east, past two more groups of breathers, oh I guess that makes it five encounters, and enter the bunker that Woodson tells you about. The robots in here that made mincemeat out of the breathers are still here and need to be dealt with, then then in the southeast corner of this bunker is a duffel bag containing Hardy Henry. Henry grants a healing bonus of 10% to the party. Get through Aspen and you'll take the gondola up to Little Hell. This is where Ferocious Francesca is located. After you pass the lobby into the main halls, the guest suites on the right side is where you'll find Ferocious Francesca. This creepy doll is in the second room where Rook is being held when you first arrive. Nearby the cage you find him in is a duffel bag containing the creepy doll. When picked up, the party gets a passive bonus from Ferocious Francesca of 5% extra melee damage. Zen Zoe is found southwest away from Aspen, but still within the Rockies, tucked away in the Snowed In Resort. After you arrive here in the eastern outdoor section, where you may fight some Razorbacks and Dorseys, there will be a fresh dirt pile you can dig up to find Zen Zoe. The permanent bonus this one grants is a hit chance improvement of 2% for everyone. We now go to the southeastern section of the Colorado Wastes for Purist Patty. This doll is found at the abandoned oil well. Again, this location is to the southeast of the Colorado map, and you get radioed by HQ when you're nearby. There'll be a piece of equipment surrounded by a whole bunch of juvies wearing gas masks, with seemingly nothing else to interact with here, minus some loot off to the side. If you attempt any aggressive actions towards the juvies, gas will appear and you'll black out, I suppose, and all the juvies will have disappeared as well as the equipment with just scrap in its place. Place. Inside of that scrap, though, is the doll, Purest Patty, the helmet for the unique exoskeleton armor, and some other junk items to sell. Purest Patty improves damage versus mutants by 5% for your party. Next up is Quick Quaid at the Knox Bison Ranch. This one appears to be just obtainable after you go to Aspen and save Mr. Knox outside of Little Hell, after which the location of the Knox Bison Ranch will reveal itself to you, and it'll be not far southwest of the abandoned oil well. This is another one zone location, so you won't have to explore too much to find the creepy doll. It is located in the northwestern corner on a corpse near the gravesite. After obtaining Quick Quaid, the party's sneak attack damage will increase by 5%. The last two are found at the Yuma County Speedway. This is one of the final locations on the southeast corner of the map. First is Angry Aaron, and this creepy doll is found at the Godfisher Farms. You were sent here to deal with the Godfishers one way or another, if you're following the quest, by the way, and not just killing everyone. And by the time you reach the Godfisher Shrine Summit, which is on the far east side, inside the level 10 locked armor crate that's covered in mines is Angry Aaron, who provides a critical resistance of 5% to your party. Finally, we have Hyper Heather. This doll is in the Yuma County Speedway proper. However, this one's listed as last because you basically hit the point of no return in the story after you pass through the northeastern gate because you have to confront the boss here to get to the doll. Once that is over and done with though, go up the stairs to the northeastern corner and there will be a locker that has a level eight explosive trap and inside is Hyper Heather who provides the team with an initiative bonus of 5%. Looking for more Wasteland 3 collectibles? I did no-nonsense guides for other things in Wasteland 3 as well, including the Golden Toaster for the Toaster Expert Achievement. You can find those here, and if you found this guide useful, entertaining, or both, please do whatever it is you see fit to show that, and one of the best ways you can do that is by supporting via Patreon at patreon.com slash Genesis. Those in the on-screen credits are part of my patrons and supporters, and they help keep my channel going, as well as receive a few perks here and there, like a private Discord chat with me, monthly updates that feature my face, and and other junk. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Wasteland Legends Fen. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.